Happy birthday to the BBC, many happy returns. Now, when you think of delicacies from Down Under, I thought of a Margaret River wine or some freshly caught seafood. But we're about to introduce you to an Australian food in quite a different vein chicken salt. It's a seasoning put on all kinds of things, especially hot chips, and a feature film on it and its original creator is about to premiere at a festival in the Australian city of Adelaide. Here's a clip from the trailer. I, I guess they kind of think that it's some big company or, or, or somebody from Sydney or Melbourne or something like that. They tell me it's become a national icon. He wants to kind of go back and taste the past. The chicken salt boot. We had enough. I don't want him to ever be hurt like he's been hurt. Brisbane and speak to Jacob Richardson, who is one of the creators of the film named Salt of the Earth. Jacob, thanks for joining us. We have quite a few Aussies in our newsroom. They love chicken salt. I'm a New Zealander. I'd never even heard of it. So we better start with some basics. What is it? You've never heard of it. Never That's heard shocking of it. to me. That'd be shocking to all Australians, really. I mean, this is chicken salt here. And chicken salt, you know, it's on, as you said, it's on hot chips all the time. Any Aussie would know you go to get hot chips. The question is, are you having salt or are you having chicken salt? Um, it's a seasoning that really came from, well, as the creator tells it, it really came from seasoning the skin of chickens to really bring out the natural flavour. But these days, you know, there's a lot of a lot of debate about what's actually in chicken salt, and that really inspired us to make the documentary. Yeah, tell us more about the the documentary. Is this ultimately a story of evil and greedy corporations against a, a little guy? Not really. No, I think Peter, the creator of Chicken Salt, um, for us, he appealed to us because we're we're working on a series of sort of unsung Aussie heroes and Aussie ingenuity. And he was the sort of guy, as he tells it, it really came from laziness. You know, he was looking for a way to season his chickens and he just thought, let me mix it all up in one. Um, and that was in the 70s and now it's sold all over Australia um, and even internationally in some, in some cases too. So the film really touches on, on Peter and what it's like to be an inventor and what it's like to have something, you know, a legacy stretch 30, 40 years into the future. So when we were thinking of delicacies, I was generous with my Margaret River wine and my freshly caught seafood. Others would say Vegemite and lamingtons, but should it be Vegemite, lamingtons and chicken salt? Is that how much Australians care about this? I would put chicken salt up the top. <laughs> I think that's probably the only difference there. But yeah, it is, it is sort of like, you know, it's an Australian legend. I think we, even we that's couldn't anticipate the, the, um, the engagement the Australian public has had with the documentary and how excited they are to see it. Uh, it really talks to the fact that chicken salt really is something in Australia that that is a legend. Yeah, we uh, spotted it from all the way over here in London. Good luck with the film. Good to talk <laughs> to you, Jacob Richardson, uh, part of the team that created Salt of the Earth.